Welcome back to Retro Rewire. My name is JJ. Here we are in Kuki, Saitama, Japan. We're going to be doing another In the Hunt episode, and we're going to be hitting up the local book off at this uh, at the, in this city. And I guess before anything, don't get left behind. Hit me up for a Retro Rewire game tour, both Saitama, Chiba, as well as Akihabara. And here is the book off in question. So let's go ahead and head inside. We'll start at the showcase. We got a PS5. This is going to be brand new as well. Everything in this particular case is actually all new. We got PS5 and Switch. That's going to be the two big uh, ballers here in Japan. And then here is the other display case, which is looking a little bit bare bones. You know, down below we have some PS2s and Xbox 360. I think that one of the PS2s on the left there is like a 3,800 yen. And then we got this golden Mario amiibo coming in at 3,200 and then 10% off for that Bowser amiibo up above. And then we're going to keep making our way here. And there's a variety of handhelds, mostly of the Nintendo variety. But we got some 2DS, 3DS in uh, different flavors, different colors. And it looks like the prices are going to be what we've been seeing at other book offs across Japan, you know, both in Gunma and Tokyo. And here are some more Amiibos. So, so, so far, you know, at least on the hardware front, this is pretty much going to be the extent of what they have for hardware. So nothing that's really too, uh, I guess, mind blowing here. This one is 30% off. And that's going to be for various reasons, both uh, it could be because of damage or because they are um, missing the uh, charging adapters. And this is the old, that was the old, the Soul Vita for 9,000 yen with the small discount. And then this is a really neat looking 2DS. I do like these uh, transparent ones. Although I'm not a, you know, with the DS, the 3DS, specifically with the 3DS, I need to have my stereoscopic 3D, but I do like that design. And what else do we have there? We got some more 3DSs and then an OLED switch. And then we got some DualShock 4 controllers. But anyhow, let's go ahead and head down the main aisle. And we're going to start uh, with the guidebooks here. Definitely some interesting guidebooks. And again, you know, this is a, definitely a dangerous area because these are the kinds of things that could fill up your luggage rather quickly or your game room which is both a, a blessing and a curse you know just because these things can get pretty heavy but nonetheless i am getting uh building up my my guide collection but look at this 200 yen and a lot of these that's what i'm saying like these things are fairly inexpensive luigi's mansion 2 for 750 and what else do we have next to that we got a psp guidebook there and i don't think that one includes the cd rom but then 200 yen so definitely cheap. And then we got Disgaea here, the complete guide. Next to that, we got some Metal Gear. And what's that? Portable Ops there for 200 yen. Now, the one next to it was definitely uh, super, super tempting. And that's going to be the Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty official strategy guide for 200 yen. In fact, let's go ahead and pop up or pop open this bad boy. And you can see some of it has like uh, that awesome artwork. But a lot of the artwork that you see here is not going to be anything new as there are many, many books that feature that art. And then here we have Super Mario Galaxy 2 for 450. Again, a monster deal there. And then we'll also go through it. And as you can see, some of this, uh, some of these tips are pretty neat looking. Here we got Dread Metroid uh, 1550, a little bit more considering it's a little uh, newer. Then we got some Naruto 2, not really sure. I think that's for the PlayStation 3. And then we got the RE2 guidebook coming in at 750. And then Code Veronica. Now this is going to be for the GameCube for 1160. And this version of Code Veronica, I believe, was for the Dreamcast. But definitely cool to see both of those. And both both of them are coming in at more or less the same price. And here we go, Street Fighter 03, the official guidebook. And this is coming in at 500 yen. I definitely picked up this bad boy. And this is going to be for the PlayStation One version. But this is the kind of stuff that I like in my guidebook. You know, I like that artwork. You know, it's laying out the combos, but that, that was definitely a nice, uh, nice pickup. And then here we have some Zelda Breath of the Wild here. Look how thick this bad boy is. But this is just giving you a little taste of what you could, what you can expect if you pick something like this up. And then we have, uh, what is that? Four Swords Zelda on the old GBA and, uh, and GameCube. And then uh, Link's Awakening, the remake for 1050. And then here we have Majora's Mask. 3D, and we'll just skim through it. 
again a lot of interesting stuff in here a lot of uh, you know i have this game and i still have yet to play it shame on me and then we have ocarina of time 3d for 1150 now this one was tempting because it will take a look at the pages here and as you can see there's a little bit of historia back there in the in the the end pages but definitely cool and I, I do like it when they include stuff like that so again that was tempting and then here we have the original Link's Awakening and this is like what a 1993 vintage for 550 look at that and there's some cool artwork in there as you can see but there was a little bit of an issue with this particular guidebook and as you can see it is coming apart uh, slowly but surely but still um, definitely nice to see that one and then here we have Final Fantasy 6 for the old Super Famicom and again we're gonna take a quick peek and I did end up picking up one of these at a different book off or book off hard off and that well before that look at this some of these include stickers come on how cool is that and it looks like all the stickers are gonna be intact there in the back but definitely cool and now we're gonna make our way down uh, I guess uh, the games and the hardware now again for the hardware there wasn't really too much to see nothing that's gonna excite the senses in fact I would say this is like a cozy book off the, the cookie uh, book off but here we have the Wii U Splatoon edition coming in at 8,100 yen which was about the same price that we saw at the Mayabashi Super Book Off Bazaar and then here we have the GT Sport edition coming in at 1,500 yen which uh, that doesn't seem too bad of a price actually there. And that's going to be standard across the board. I think most book offs are going to have it at that price. At least that's what we've been seeing in the last few videos. And let's see here. We got some Wii's. Again, nothing too exciting, but, but it is in the box. And then we'll just kind of flip it over here. And that's coming in at 5,400 yen. And it comes with two Wiimotes, with one being the pink one. Now, down below, we're going to take a look at all those controllers. But there was a lot of orange there. But here we have a Super Famicom for 5,400 yen. We got some PlayStation VR units coming in at 9,000 yen. And then we got a PlayStation Move for the PS3 for 4,500 yen. And that's going to be a little bit of a bundle. But look at all these GameCube controllers. They're all coming in at 1,800 yen. And they had about four of the orange spice variety. Look at that. And that's actually a pretty good deal because I was at Retro Game Camp in Akihabara. And I think they're selling them for like about 6,000 yen, which is crazy high. And then there's the silver, the indigo. They also had the black. I think the only ones that were missing were like the white and the emerald, like the super hardcore uh, rare ones. But who knows if they would have been here, perhaps they would have been coming in at the same price. And then here we have a PS3 controller. And then we got our PlayStation 4 titles, which is probably going to be like their biggest uh, moving platform here at this specific location. So we're just going to skim on through, head to the PlayStation 3. We got some Dirt 2 coming in at 2000 yen. Um, haven't played this one or maybe I have but it's been so so long I do love part 3 and then here we have Ridge Racer 7 coming in at 900 yen with a 10% discount now this one also has like a, a 3d feature but I believe that's tied to the PlayStation Store so I'm not sure if that's still up uh, and available and then here we have the Eco and Wanderer box and that's going to be about the same price at all book ops and then here we have Jojo's uh, all-star battle for 270 yen Soul Calibur 4 for the same price, 270, and then we have Tekken Hybrid coming in at 900 yen. So not too bad there on the prices, especially for the old PS3. Here we have Star Wars: The Complete Saga, the Lego uh, action game here, and that was actually going to be the the North American version. So wasn't expecting to see that. And then here we have our PlayStation 2 titles, and again uh, PlayStation 2. Nothing that really kind of caught my attention, but still, they did have a few solid titles. I can't really vouch for this one, but, you know, only you. This is looking like a visual novel. And then we have Valkyria Profile uh, Silmaria for 270 yen. That's definitely peanuts. And then here we'll take a look at a few fighting games. We got What's This Fate Unlimited. Haven't played this one, but the one next to it is definitely legendary. We have Virtual Fighter 4 for 100 yen. That's, come on guys, it, can it get any cheaper, perhaps? We'll keep looking and see what we can find. Here we got our PlayStation Vita titles. And then down below we have PSP. What do we have here? Demon's Gaze 2 for 1,100 yen. Now for the PlayStation Vita, 
again, I'm, I'm pretty much at the near towards the end of my collecting for it. And uh, I think I'll end like at about 15 titles or so, which is more than enough for me. But what is this uh, Final Fantasy here? Haven't played that one. Um, and then we have Muramasa. This is a great one. This is definitely worthy of a pickup. But unfortunately, the Japanese version does not have English language support. So just keep that in mind. But here we are making our way into the PlayStation Portable titles. And definitely feel free to pause as we're just going to be kind of cruising here. But we have Loco Roco for 270 and that's definitely worth it. As is this Vampire Chronicle or Darkstalkers uh, Chronicle for 900 yen. So that's definitely uh, a pretty, pretty darn good deal there. And then we have Tales of Versus, which I believe this kind of plays like Super Smash Bros. And that's uh, 270 yen. So again, that's uh, that's peanuts. And then we have Salamander Portable, 6,800 yen with a 300 yen discount. That's going to be the greatest hits version. But this collection is definitely uh, definitely worthy. And then we have Metroid Prime's Cor uh, Corruption, Prime 3. And that was about 900 yen. Then we have uh, Genma Onimusha for 2,300 yen. And they had, I guess, a, a few uh, Xbox original titles, but 12,000 for Metal Wolf Chaos. Now this is a pricey game, but it is fairly common, and I I, I see it more uh, quite a bit actually. Now here are PlayStation One titles: Ace Combat Two for two seventy. What else do we have? Uh, Air Guys, God Bless the Ring. I used to have this game, and I believe it it was also it also got like an arcade release, but that was four hundred and eighty. And then we have X Men vs Street Fighter. This is going to be the EX edition for one thousand five hundred yen, and that's actually that's fairly. Uh, fairly cheap actually considering what that is and then i've seen this uh what is this uh something cube but this puzzle game i've seen uh i've seen some youtube videos on it and it seems pretty interesting and then metal gear solid coming in at 2300 yen that one's definitely rising in value that that was usually before that was like a 100 yen game so that kind of came out of nowhere and then we have rockman dash mega man legend uh, and then we have Rockman 8 for 900 yen. Pretty good price on that one. And then here we have, what is this, uh, some kind of puzzle type of game. Kind of an interesting cover. And then here we have Macross for the old Sega Saturn for 1,500 yen. That's a pretty good price. And then we're going to make our way into some Sega Dreamcast action. Both the Saturn and the Dreamcast were, were lacking uh, severely, but still Eternal Arcadia coming in at 1,500 yen. That's an awesome looking cover great game and then we have power stone coming in at 900 yen again that's a really good price and then we have this bad boy 1500 yen marvel versus capcom 2 that is a pretty uh that that is a pretty darn good price there and now we're gonna make our way uh into the loose cards we got some super famicom and famicom titles here and we're not gonna be digging in through the cards here but as you can see the selection isn't too bad and if what we're seeing here what's uh, front facing uh, there could be some more um, some more worthy titles and most likely there is in these stacks here and then look at this Super Mario Land 1800 yen for the Game Boy I definitely picked this bad boy up and this one is uh, this is a title that could be fairly expensive depending on where you um, where you look for it so this was definitely a super nice surprise and then look at Dr. Mario, 480 yen with a 10% discount. That's also uh, fairly, fairly inexpensive. Almost nothing. I wish this one, this Kirby's Dreamland, I wish this had the, the box. But 900 yen with the manual. That's not too bad. And then we have Gunpei for the old Wonder Swan. I hear great things about this puzzle game. Haven't actually played it myself, but who knows? Maybe one day. And then what is this? Some techno, some River City stuff. Not really familiar with that game, but then we have some Smash Bros for 480 with a with a small discount, <clears throat> and then we have Star Fox Assault for 1,500 yen. That was a little bit of a guilty pleasure of mine back in the day. Then we got Mario RPG for 2,300 yen, and some of these copies look fairly clean. And then we got Mario Party 7 coming in at 1,500 yen, and then now we're gonna make our way into the Super Famicom boxed games. And here, you know, this was actually uh, a pretty decent selection. You know, we have Gun Hazard here, uh, Front Mission for 1,800 yen. And this one visually looks pretty darn beautiful. I haven't played it, but from what I've seen, it looks awesome. 
Then we got two turbo for uh, for 1,800 yen. And then we have Final Fantasy VI. And then we have 900 yen for Super Mario Kart with a small discount there. And then Super Bomberman 2 for 2,300 yen. And then we have Wild Tracks, which I forget the name of that one in the North America market. But anyhow, Final, uh, Final Fight 2 for 1,500 yen. And then we have all NBA Jam for 1,800 yen with a 10% discount. I believe this one was missing the manual. Otherwise, I would have picked that up because that's actually a, a pretty darn good price. And then we have Super Metroid, 4,612. Kind of an odd price there. But it is, it is damaged and it is sun faded as you will see here on the bottom. But still, you know, when you see it for this price, it's kind of a little bit tempting. And then we looks like some old sticker residue there. And then we have, uh, what is this, uh, Kirby's Old Dream Course. Haven't played this one, but seems kind of interesting. And look at the original price, Chrono Trigger, 11,400 yen. My goodness. And then we have Mickey's Adventure 2 uh, for 2,700 yen. And then we have some Super Mario 64 with rumble action. And then here we'll just kind of do a little blitz of all the N64 games that they had down below. Well, not all of them, but a good portion of them. That Goemon uh, for 1,500 yen, that's pretty good. And then uh, Blast Dozer. Um, I hear good things about this one too. I believe that was a launch title, perhaps. And then we have uh, Bomberman 2 for 1,500 yen. I'm currently playing Bomberman 94 on the old PC engine, but then here we have Smash for 1,800 yen, and that box looks fairly clean. That was a, that's another game that's slowly rising in, in, uh, in value, but 2,300 yen for Banjo-Kazooie 2. And then we have some Pokemon action here for 900 yen. So what is that, Pokemon Snap? I'm not really familiar with that. And then we're going to make our way into the 3DS and the DS titles. But again, we're not going to hang around too long, but here we have some Kirby action. A lot of Kirby games here. And then we have EX Troopers on the 3DS for 900 yen been a while since i've seen that one on uh, the 3ds and then we have bravely default for the sequel this one does have full english language support you can change that within the in-game menu and then we have our pokemon titles and to my understanding these also have english language support and uh but i believe that's not the case with the pokemon uh ds games that we're seeing on screen here and look at that 270 yen that's fairly inexpensive that's almost nothing actually <laughs> Especially if you're coming in with uh, with some with some dollars there, but then 1,100 yen and 2,900 yen, so some pretty good uh, some pretty good deals there on the Pokemon games. And what else do we have here? Some RPG DS. Now this one looks a little bit generic, but it could be good. And at 900 yen, that's not really going to break the bank. And then here we have some Beetle Wrestling action. I'm kind of curious about this title. I have seen it before. And then this one, I have no idea what this is. 5,400 yen, but it seems kind of interesting there. Maybe an action type of game. And then this case, as well as down below, is going to be all like the loose cards. And you're going to notice that quite a bit of them are going to be um, at a discount. I'm, I'm thinking this stuff is just like a slow moving uh, thing for them. And that's why a lot of them are going to be at 20% off. But you can definitely spend quite a bit of time here just pulling everything out. You know, the way that it's merchandised kind of, kind, kind of makes it hard to shop there. It's a, good, uh, it's a good time killer. But here are our Switch titles. And this is the latest Bayonetta, this Bayonetta original title for 4,500 yen. And I got to be honest, like visually, and it doesn't really seem too appealing to me. But I do love uh, the Bay the Bayonetta universe, and I still have yet to play uh, Part 3. But Part 3 seems to... I don't know, it just kind of went under the radar. But what do you guys think? Is that one pretty good? And then we have uh, FC24, um, KOF13, and then we got a Fatal Frame game coming out. I believe this is, was originally on the Wii. So that's kind of nice that it's making its way to the Switch. And then we have Nier Automata for 4,346, but I'm not really sure how this port holds up. And now we're gonna make our way into the soundtracks. Look at this, the Biohazard Revelation Unveiled Edition. Now, that this one does have like a little bonus goodie and that one was kind of tempting because I am a crazy Biohazard Resident Evil collector, a nut. 
Here we have Tales of the Abyss. Look at that, four discs. Four discs. <laughs> and then uh, what else do we have here? Tales of Symphonia for 1,900 yen. And who knows? Who knows how many discs that is? Could be another four. But yeah, the, the, and then Tales of Fantasia. This was originally um, the Super Famicom, and then I believe the PlayStation 1 also got an upgraded port with some anime uh, cutscenes. And look at the cover to Secret of Mana Plus. 720 yen that's definitely uh that's not too much there and then we have another secret of mana soundtrack for 1300 yen and that cover actually looks pretty cool and that could be like a, a two disker and some of this stuff does come with like posters but here we have uh final fantasy tactics and i do i do like the color scheme here look at that it kind of all matches through and they did have quite a bit of uh persona as well as Shin Megami Tensei as you will see here but look at all this 2700 for part two the soundtrack and then we have part four's original soundtrack coming in at 1100 yen and then here we have uh, Shin Megami uh, Nocturne part three not too many tracks there and then here's the original soundtrack which includes two discs and that is a mean cover just like uh well that's going to be the original cover to the game uh, some cool stuff here and I'm not really sure what this Sigma business is coming in at 900 yen and then we have Shining Force Feather the soundtrack have no idea what platform that was released for and then here we have Klonoa 2 for 2300 yen I've seen this one before and look at that two discs this thing is loaded and then here we have Wild Arms the original game soundtrack and, th and the cool thing about these soundtracks is sometimes they have like some exclusive artwork so if you're a sucker for that like me Sometimes it makes it all the more uh, worth it. And then we had a couple gems here. Look at this. Dracula, Castlevania, uh, something of the Midnight Sun. Con Concierto of Midnight Sun, which has like the first two GBA games. And then we have Castlevania 64 or Apocalypse for 2,300 yen. And I was kind of holding on to this one for quite a while because I was thinking about getting it. But anyhow, that's going to be it for this episode. A little bit of a cozy book off. And here's the Exorcist soundtrack. But guys, there's plenty more to come. I've been a little bit busy, but the videos are on their way. Ciao.